hello <laughs> if you have been keeping up with the videos on this channel or with the things i post on this channel in general probably on the community page you will know that i have decided to dedicate the first two weeks in february to post videos on love in the uk for foreign nationals or how to find love in the uk or things to do to feel loved or to make your partner feel loved because why not our love life in the uk as foreign national is as important as looking for a visa or getting a job or switching visas or any other thing we do in the uk as foreign nationals now in this video i will be talking about valentine's day gift ideas for him and her whether you're looking for something unique or thoughtful or practical i have you covered this video is only dedicated to gift ideas if you want to have an idea on the things to do this valentine's day or in general as a foreign national living in the uk to feel loved or to show your partner that you love them i have a video on that I'll link it to this video for you to watch. So this video will be divided into two parts. The first part would be for her and the second part would be for him. Now let's start with gifts for her. Now the first gift idea on my list for her is a piece of jewelry. Now for me, I do feel you cannot go wrong with this gift idea because if she's not that kind of girl or that kind of woman that likes to wear earrings i'm sure she loves her necklaces you can change your wedding bands you know there's a piece of jewelry your partner would really appreciate if you get it for her. now you can show your love with a beautiful piece of jewelry like a necklace bracelet or earrings or rings you can change your wedding bands and things like that so i feel a piece of jewelry that she would like now you need to know if she's a silver person or a good person for me i'm a good person so if my husband wants to buy me any piece of jewelry he knows to go for gold because i am a good person my skin just glows naturally when i wear any gold kind of jewelry because i tend to have like a warm undertone things like white bright colors kind of suits my skin so if i wear like silver it kind of washes me out but gold is my good so you need to know our undertone once you know our undertone you cannot go wrong with a piece of jewelry because you will know whether you should buy a gold piece of jewelry or a silver piece of jewelry now my second gift idea for her is kind of controversial <laughs> you need to know your woman well to know if she would like this or she would not like this the second is a bouquet now for me i do not like artificial bouquet i love natural bouquets so you can surprise her with a stunning bouquet of her favorite flowers now i'm not picky when it comes to natural flowers if you get me any kind of beautiful flower i would cherish it and i will take care of it i do have about two flower vases where i put my flowers when i get natural flowers but i do love natural flowers i love it when my husband surprises me with natural flowers and obviously he knows i will take care of them and they will not just die me you don't want to get your partner flowers and then she just throws it in the bin or she just leaves it on the table and it just dies up there some people do not know how to take care of natural case so that's why i say this is quite subjective and some people are actually allergic to some kind of bouquets so this one you need to be sure if it's something she would appreciate now my third gift idea would be most appreciated if your partner is a mom <laughs> so probably this is for like married couples or people who have children would be a romantic weekend get away. trust me any mom or any international student studying in the uk and his stress would appreciate this now if you're married and you have kids you would need to get a babysitter or look for a place for the children because i don't advise you to take the kids along because you want it to be a romantic we can get the way where she has that time to just rest and you know just love you love herself you know you know you want to give her that time to just rest you know just enjoy that romantic weekend get the way and you too you will also enjoy it so yeah so you want to plan a romantic weekend get away to a nearby city or to a cozy cabin in the woods you know just that place that is serene you know put thought into it not just any hotel you know put thought into it if you want it to be where she just gets to relax away from work from the whole relocation planning if you guys just came to the uk you know you just want her to relax you know so plan a romantic we can get away another gift idea is similar to the previous gift idea which is a spa day 
Now you want to treat her to a relaxing spa that will help her unwind after a busy week. You know, you just want her to have that nice spa date. Now you can go for a spa day if probably you don't have enough money to plan a romantic weekend getaway, you know. It might be budget friendly too if you plan a spa date and they will still serve the same purpose. You, know, you just want her to have that time just to relax and you know unwind. Another gift idea is for both of you really. So this gift idea is to either go for a cooking, a baking or a poetry class. So you want to take a cooking or a baking class together and learn new skills in the kitchen or you want to go for a poetry class where you guys tend to build something or mold a ceramic object or paint ceramic object. There are lots of places to do that here in the UK. You just book it, you know, something both of you can do together. You're not necessarily learning something serious, but you learn something no matter how minute that is. You will learn something and you guys will get to spend quality time, you know, and do things together, you know. Just have that class together. The last but not the least gift idea for her is a subscription. You know, surprise her with a subscription of her favorite thing, like probably a beauty product or an online class or probably food subscription. Or you can even get her something related to her business. If she's a content creator, for instance, you can get her a new mic if that's what she wants or a new camera or probably a teleprompter, a new laptop, something to help her with her content creation process. If she's into cooking, you can surprise her with like a cooking class or a subscription for a food or you can help her with her blog post or get someone to build that website she has always wanted. You know, something that would help her grow. If she's a student, you can subscribe for Grammarly for her for a year, you know, just Think outside the box, something that would help her grow, you know, showing love to someone. I think for me, when you want to show love to me, show love to me in a way that it helps my life. I don't know if you get what I mean. So yeah, you can just think outside the box. This should just be something you just think of that would help her grow personally, probably spiritually, mentally, when it comes to finance, business wise, or probably she has been wanting to start maybe a YouTube channel, you know, something to push her to start. Something that will be a source of encouragement. That's what my last gift idea would be all about. Now, this is subjective. You know your lady. You know what she wants. You know what makes her tick. So, think. Think deep. Now, this is for him. My lady is getting here. We are not doing the boxer's thing in this place. Nah, 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 nah. Think outside the box. So, the number one thing to get for him this Valentine's Day would be a tech gadget. So, you can get him a cool tech gadget like a smartwatch or a phone to help him stay connected and entertained. Now, you have to know what your man likes. If your man likes a new phone or if he's into watches or probably he wants a new laptop. Now, this one is for my working class ladies that can afford this. Not everybody will be able to afford this, but a smartwatch can be within your budget. I know guys tend to like wristwatches, so I don't think you can go wrong with a wristwatch, but again, you know your man, you know what makes him tick. Please don't buy boxers. Even if you buy boxers, just buy it as a side buy, not as the main gift. The second gift idea for him is to get a sports or concert ticket. You know, surprise him with a ticket to a live sports game or a concert of his favorite team or artist. You know, guys, they love their music. They love sports. If your guy's not into music, he's probably into sports. If he's not into sports, he's into music. You know, thank God you're living in the UK. If he's into football, all the top, you know, English Premier Leagues are here in the UK. You know, you can take that extra step to just buy a ticket. I don't know how much they sell a ticket. I don't know how much it costs, but just go to their website. If you're a Manchester United fan, just I use Manchester United for example because I live in Manchester and I know the team well. So you can just go to their website and book the ticket, you know. Let him go with his friends or you can go with him, you know. This is just a gift for him so it doesn't matter if he goes with you or he goes with the guys or goes alone it's for him whatever he does with it that him savvy now the next gift idea you can have for him is a customized gift you know you know you want to personalize a gift for him like a monogrammed leather wallet they are not expensive you can get a custom made photo album so you can get your photos together you know 
And I think Google has a service like that where you can compile your photos together and you can create a photo album if he's into things like that. If he's into jewelries, you can get a customized jewelry for him, probably a customized ring. They're not expensive, trust me. Gold jewelries might be a bit expensive, but silver jewelries are not expensive. Please, girls, think outside the box. Be thoughtful with your gift for him. Please be thoughtful. Eh? Be thoughtful. So you can get like, a silver jewelry, you know, expensive. You can get a necklace, or you can get a ring for him, or maybe um, a band, a silver band for him. You know, just think outside the box. Customize a gift for him, a gift that he has it alone. Nobody has it with him. And don't go and write your name on all the gifts so that they will know that he has a girlfriend or he has a wife or something. No, just be thoughtful about it. Be intentional. Make the gift for him. Customize it in a way that he would like. Not in a way that you would like. You know, ladies, you know how we can be at times. <laughs> the last but not the least gift idea I have for him for Valentine's is a gaming experience. Now you can take your man for a gaming experience like the immersive virtual reality experience or a night at the arcade. You know, you know, guys love to play games. Now, depending on your man and what he likes to do. For instance, my partner does not like rigorous gaming activities. He likes things like table tennis, you know, that is not that stressful. He likes things like bowling. He doesn't like things like football or basketball or, you know, so you need to know your man to know what he would like. Now, my partner likes go-karting, you know, driving small, small cars indoors, all those kind of things, bowling. He likes things like that. So you need to know your man to get a gaming experience. Now, again, for the gaming experience, you can go with him. He can go with his friends or he can go alone. Remember, it's a gift for him. You necessarily don't have to be there. If you want to do things together for Valentine, I have a video on that. You can go watch it and do that one. This one is a gift for him. So there you have it, some of the best Valentine's gift ideas for him and her. Now, I just want to make one honorable mention. Now, one honorable mention should be a Valentine's Day card or a letter. It doesn't matter if you're getting a fiscal gift or a gift where it will be experienced. Please give your spouse a Valentine's Day card or a letter. Just writing how you appreciate them, what they've done. You know, there's something about February that celebrates a love between a man and a woman. So you want to maximize because to be honest, we don't remember to appreciate ourselves or our spouse every single day. Now, because it is Valentine's Day, celebrating love is pushed to our faces. So we need to be intentional about it. You know, even if throughout the year you don't remember to like do something special, do something special for Valentine, so that you know that at least once in a year you do something special just to celebrate the love between you and your spouse or the love you have for yourself if you're not in a relationship. Do you get what I mean? So in whatever gift you get, make it presentable. Get a gift back. Wrap it up. Put a letter or a card just appreciating her, appreciating him. You know that you don't need to make Instagram post or WhatsApp post. No, it should be for her, you know. Let her know she's appreciated. Let him know he's appreciated, you know. Just appreciate each other. Be honest. If they have done something important for you in your life, state it. Thank them. Be grateful. If she has done something important for you in your life, be honest. Thank her. Be grateful. Acknowledge it. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please don't forget to share this video with someone who will also find it helpful. Bye for now and thanks for watching.